All right, I am here with Khalil McKenzie. He's in, in flux right now about where you're going to school, but where are you going to be going to school next year? Uh, <laughs> nice try, but <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you know in a couple of days. <laughs> Anyways, as we know, things that were happening, I was trying. I was trying my best. But um, the last few years, you were at De La Salle High School. I got to watch you firsthand during the state championships and throughout the year. What did you love most about playing at De La Salle and going through that state championship and even last year and well, some say might have been the best state championship yet um, in the short history of the California State Championships against St. John Bosco. Yeah, I mean, I loved all the friends that I got to make at De La Salle. I mean, you get to meet some guys who are going off to college, and you get to meet some guys who are going to be going off to college soon, uh, underclassmen, and so you get to meet some great athletes, and you get to meet some of the alumni from that school. I mean, it's, it's pretty insane. So that was something I really loved about it. Yeah, because you moved across the country yeah. to De La Salle. What did you like most about coming into the Bay Area and the change of environment? Uh, it was, to tell you the truth, it was hard for the first couple of weeks. I was like, this is so different. Everything, people, just everything to where driving to parking to heat, everything was different from Wisconsin. So I was like, it took me a little bit to adjust, but uh, everybody was patient with me, so it was good. And now you are going into your senior year. What have you been doing in this offseason? I see that you're here in the opening. What else have you been doing to, to get in shape and, and get yourself to that elite level that I'm sure you want to be at? Yeah, I mean, I've just been, uh, the main thing is just trying to watch my weight. And I'm, I've gotten a little bit heavy. So, I mean, once this is over, I'm going to go back on a, a little bit stricter of a diet and try and get ready for the season and uh, cut some weight. But uh, definitely just been trying to work uh, with guys around the Raider facility because my dad, uh, get to work with some of those guys and get to work different stuff and you get to you get to hear from a lot of guys a lot of guys with a uh, different different experience and different uh, Type of moves that they'll do and things that they're they're very special at so I mean that's that's a really really big help for me Yeah, I was watching you out there and they were teaching you some of these moves, you yeah. know with the hands and controlling the hands yeah. What do you learn out here different than you would with like your dad at Oakland Raiders? I mean most of it a lot of it is the same, but I mean a lot of stuff you'll just get uh, here they'll just say you'll do it and then you'll be like all right and then you'll do it against top level guys and then when you're back in uh, in, uh california you'll be like you're doing it and then you're doing it with your teammates and it's not really the same you'll be like i can sort of get away with not really doing it as full effort here you got to be full speed every single time or else you're just going to get punched and you're going it's not going to feel good so yeah when, when you line up what do you think is your strength as a defensive tackle what do you think you're going to have the advantage of I definitely think uh, my size and quickness are definite advantage. A lot of people, when they see me, they're like, all right, he's just going to straight bull rush me. But a lot of kids saw today that I'll get around you. I'll, I'll get you guessing. And if you quick set me, I'm going to just back to your side and stuff like that. So, I mean, a lot of them, they'll just tomorrow, and I'll have to think of something different. But we'll also be in pads, so then they will have to worry about the bull rush too. <laughs> All right, and then last question because uh, we guys got to go on your way. But I got to ask it if I don't. Top two or top five schools from you? Uh, top two schools would be uh, Tennessee and Arizona. Okay. And reasons between between any of them for the people out there that might not know? Uh, Arizona because uh, I just fell in love with the, the school as a whole. I mean, the campus, the coaches, uh, the football stadium, the weight room, the lifting coaches. I mean, everything about it was just awesome. And then Tennessee was a lot of the same thing. Just add that it's really just like a second home to me with my grandpa and my uncle living there. I mean, I mean it's really, yeah, it's like a second home. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to know where you play next year so I can at least watch you yeah. and know where you're going. But good luck with whatever it is you do. Thank you. You're a good kid. I know things happen in life. So uh, hopefully I get to see you somewhere. All right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thanks. Okay.